Hi, I'm Nathaniel Horner, a fourth year PhD student in the Engineering and Public Policy Department here at Carnegie Mellon. I'm here today with Deanna Matthews to find out more about the undergraduate offerings in the Engineering and Public Policy Department. Um, before we start talking about EPP, could you just introduce yourself to us and let us know your role? Sure. My name is Deanna Matthews, and I'm the Associate Department Head for Undergraduate Affairs in Engineering and Public Policy. And so in that role, um, I supervise the undergraduate program and the curriculum and advise students that are in our programs. Great. So now that you've introduced yourself, could you introduce us to the EPP major? Sure. Sort of what it is. Sure. Um, the EPP double major and the equivalent science, technology, and public policy major um, for non engineering students is a curriculum that allows students to make the connections between their technical field and the bigger, broader problems that we're facing in society that often have a policy component to them. Um, so a common example I always uh, use is thinking about vehicles of the future. And as a mechanical engineer, you are learning how to design, say, an electric vehicle. Um, but part of the broader implications is how do we generate the electricity that's going to support that vehicle? Um, what kind of infrastructure and um, policy do we need to, say, have charging stations that are across the United States to enable those vehicles to work? So what are the degree options for undergraduates in the department? We offer three different programs. One is a double major for engineering students that is a degree in engineering and public policy. We offer an equivalent double major program for students who are not in engineering but are studying science um, or a technical issue called science, technology, and public policy. And then we also offer a minor in technology and policy for students who are not in the engineering program. Um, and that is just a, a sh smaller version of the double major major curriculum. So why might um, engineers want to take on a, a second major in, in EPP or, or other students in the science and technology sure. program? Um, one of the reasons is that this kind of a program we really view as being that additional layer um, that really bridges the gap between what students are learning at the science and technology and engineering uh, level to that how those issues connect to the real world. Um, and so unlike some place where you might go and study just economics, which is going to give you that background from an economics perspective, this really says taking that those ideas of economics and bringing them into how the technical issues really relate to the real world. OK, and that's the advantage. Of and that's the, the advantage, yes. Um, so engineers can go into e the EPP major, and then there's this other major for, for other students. Um, is there a, a minor available? The, the minor is, um, is available to students and offers students the, uh, a taste of what we do within engineering and public policy without having um, a full commitment to the, the bigger, broader curriculum. Um, the intent is to have students be able to take several different elective classes that really engage them in how the technical side um, of an issue relates to what they're learning in their non-technical sphere. Okay, you mentioned curriculum and electives. Can you talk about specifically what some of those classes are? Sure. Um, for both the EPP and the STP double major, um, students take a set of introductory courses, an introduction to engineering and public policy in a seminar class. Um, and then we have students take what I call core area classes, so st courses in economics, statistics, decision making, and technical communications. And those classes really help students get a foundation in the non-technical areas that we need to have in order to address these bigger picture problems. Um, students take a set of technology policy electives, which really allow them to focus on a problem that they might really be interested in. And then we have a series of capstone classes, one of which is an applied methods class to help put all of those pieces together. And then students participate in two different EPP projects classes, where we really allow them to an experience structuring and solving a current real world problem that has all of these different intricacies built in. Sounds great. Let's talk about life after school now. <laughs> what kinds of careers do graduates uh, with an EPP double major 
typically go into? We have a wide assortment of careers that career paths that students follow. Um, so several students do opt for a traditional technical career initially because they are engineers or scientists mm -hmm. at the core and that is what they're they're mostly interested in but we find that the EPP or STPP double major courses can give them a leg up in actually securing some of those positions which is a nice um, a nice plus um, but some students do see that they have more interest in the social or policy side of what the EPP program lends to them so they do pursue careers that that tap more into that so uh, positions in consulting or policy analysis um, that allow them to use their technical expertise but are really um, applying it with those uh, the the core area classes the the non-technical classes um, within their within that discipline um, one of the misconceptions is that we're here to make patent lawyers <laughs> um, and we actually have very few patent lawyers in our uh, alumni and um, if you look at our alumni uh, demographics and where they are now it it is representative of the engineering college as a whole um, we have alumni that are at all stages in their careers from vice uh, you know, from presidents of companies on down um, and across a wide range of disciplines from very technical to to non-technical great some students are interested of course in graduate school afterwards of what sorts of uh, opportunities are there for those that have interdisciplinary uh, interest perhaps fostered by a, a double major in EPP. Right. I've had students who have gone off to pursue other degrees um, in engineering, so furthering their technical career, mm -hmm. um, mostly because within engineering that becomes the first degree um, uh, of entry into a into a position. Um, other students shift gears and pursue a degree say in public health or policy um, to get a broader foundation in that space um, and then we do have some students that do go off to business school, law school, um, but the majority of our students do go off to work right afterwards. Okay. Um, and do you get feedback from previous uh, EPP students? And, and if so, what do they tell you about their experience? Um, some of what they tell us is about the EPP projects class as mm -hmm. being one of the key contributors to their growth as a uh, in their career path. Um, that that was a course that really opened their eyes to what was going to be their real life uh, career path in terms of having to work with people within. Uh, different majors with interdisciplinary backgrounds, um, scoping different problems, and that that course really was a benefit to them in terms of their their pathway um, and their careers. Um, that, as a general consensus, it's that the the pursuing the double major is something that really added to their core skill set in. Mm -hmm. um, and, and enhanced their technical um, engineering degree. So. Great. Um, if I'm uh, potentially interested in one of these uh, major or minor offerings, what's the process for finding out more information? Okay. Um, well, if you're an engineering student or most of the science and technology students on campus, you enter into a program during your first year undeclared. Um, and that gives you an opportunity to investigate a little bit about EPP and see if it's of interest to you. Um, most students declare their actual major during the spring of their freshman year. Um, and so that's a great time to actually declare your interest in EPP as well. However, we have students that wait until sophomore year to actually get into the program. Um, students come and talk to me about it and uh, so I can gauge what their interest is and review their past transcript to see what courses are eligible and what remaining requirements they would have to complete in order to graduate on time. Those are pretty much the questions I had. Is there anything else about EPP that you want to mention or talk about? Um, it is a really interesting program. We have students that come from all of the different uh, programs across campus, which is really exciting. So it really is an opportunity for students to get involved and see how the other students bring their knowledge to the table on some of these complex problems. Great. Thanks very much.